Okay, I've had quite a few questions about what can you do to swap out gym equipment when you're at home, like if you don't have a leg press or a hamstring curl, what do you do? Especially in some of my knee rehab programs where there's a leg press machine or there's a hamstring curl machine in the early parts of the program, even single leg and double leg, what do you do? So I've come up with an idea for you. What you can do is you need a power band, so like a pretty decent grunty one of those. So they're not too hard to come by these days and you need a slippery floor. So when you're doing a leg press, I've got the band around the back of my hips. Now, if that's uncomfortable, you can actually hold the band. And if you wanna make it stronger, you hold the band anyway. But what you're doing is you're simply doing a leg press like that. Okay, now that may seem pretty easy, but the sliders are definitely a good thing to have. You don't have to have sliders. You can slide your socks on a slippery floor, but you really need a slippery floor or a carpet, something like that, and you need a strong wall or a window, that's sort of thing, to stay upright, like you're in the leg press. Now, the length of the band, it's gonna be a 41 inch, but the tension on the band is then relative to how strong you are, okay? So some of you guys are gonna to have to have a bigger, thick band, some other people who are not as strong might have to have a thinner band. It depends on what you want to do. But this one here, I put it around so the heels or the arch of the foot, and you have your feet, normal hip width apart, just like on leg press, okay, normal hip width apart. When you're doing maybe a warm-up set, you just have the band around the back of your hips. It's pretty comfy like that. What you can do to advance that is grab the band, hold it in there with your arms, so you're effectively shortening the band. So you go in there, straighten the band up, and push your legs straight, and then come back. And this is a really nice way, you gotta be careful you don't lose those sliders. Really nice way to do leg press without a leg press machine, okay? So that's that one. What you can do then, if you wanna go single leg, because in rehab we do a lot of single leg work, same drill, you're just gonna have to tighten that band up a little bit more. So when you have that band around the back of your hips, just hold it more and away you go. So leg press in there, coming back up, and you may find you have to sort of bring your hands back to the point of how far you want to come up with that knee flexion, and then straighten out. Now that's pretty hard, but it's kind on the foot, so that's no problem there, and it's really, really effective way of you doing a leg press at home. So there you go. Use the power band for your leg press in a sitting position on the ground. You don't need any other equipment. Now, what you can do for hamstring curls, you will need to tie that to a band. So if you're missing the hamstring curl machine from the gym, I would simply use a band. You're probably gonna do, um, use a smaller band, as in skinnier, for hammy curls than a leg press. You just simply won't have the power. But this one, there's a couple of tricks to make it stop slipping off your feet. So for this one, put it round, this is for a double leg, right? You put it round like that, okay? So you can see how I've tucked my feet in, all right? So around the back of the heels, around the feet. What I would do, to stop it falling out again, just do another one, okay? So pretty simple stuff, and it tightens the band up, which is sort of what you want, into there. Now what you're gonna have to do is go forward in a position where you've got tension still at the bottom there. So I can be in full sort of knee extension with tension there. I don't want that band slack, if that makes sense. And then you're simply gonna go straight into a hamstring curl, all right? So keep your feet the same with the part again, and straighten the hamstring curl. Watch that you don't arch your back. Okay, trying to keep your core on when you do your hamstring curls, but there you go. And that's pretty strong. That's equivalent to sort of what I was doing on the leg press. Okay, so you just gotta match the band to the task. And of course, single leg stuff is what we have on the program anyway. That's in the program. You just flip that down to a single leg. Go a bit further, like that. Okay, and again, you can see it's a bit tricky to get on and then away you go again, single leg. So that's easy stuff. So swapping out a couple of machines there, leg press, hammer curls, easy, just use your bands. Now, if you wanna be a bit more specific, maybe you're a runner, maybe you play a bit of sport, you wanna be more specific with your leg press, what you can do, if you've got something, it doesn't have to be a rig like this, but if you've got something that's up high, maybe a bar or some sort of hook up high, you can put your band up on that and that's your single leg leg press if you like, standing. So really good for runners, sport people, and things like that. That's where you go and put your foot in that band there. So when you're in the right position here, you can then go through that sort of leg press movement. It's the same sort of drill. This one though, as you notice, 
it's got a lot more stability in it. Okay, so when you're doing this, you have to control your hip, you control your knee. And this one's a nice one to do if you want to do leg press with a bit of stability component, which I love stability, but that's a really good one because I can't push as much weight or have the band as tight as I can the leg press. So think of the sitting leg press as your strengthening tool, have the standing leg press as your stability tool. Now, last one. If you're doing wall sits in one of my programs, so meaning, if this is entry level stuff, you're doing a wall sit like this, you know, some people do it like this, some people do it with a Swiss ball here, okay, that adds a bit of stability. If you want to add on some load there, okay, so again, if you're not in the gym, you're not doing any loaded stuff, but your knees don't really like doing loaded squats. So if you're ready to put on load for your quads in an isometric, but you're not ready to load in a dynamic position like a squat, just add this on, okay? So what you can do, put that around your feet, set yourself up into your wall sit, okay? And then bring that up onto your shoulders like that, and then just hold it there. Now that puts a lot of load through those eggs. You'll probably find that you just cannot, if I hold it back there, whew, you can't sit there as long as you normally would. So that will give you some sort of change and adding a load to an isometric exercise like that. All right, see how you go, give those a shot.